how does it feel to see your name, see you guys' name up there? Yeah, I mean, it, it felt it, it, just an affirmation. You know, you, you knew, I mean, we, we had a solid resume. We felt good about it. I had us as a solid eight, nine, so I just was really paying attention to the one seeds. And um, when, when Baylor lost today and I thought Louisville would get a one seed, I said, well, we're either going to California or South Carolina. I mean, they were, we were going to Stanford or South Carolina. I just, there was no other way to really move, move the numbers. So um, that's what happened. Were you nervous at all? I mean, I saw you kind of rolling your ring um, there. You were no, you, you know, I, we, we, we got stuck in a whole recruiting thing this weekend and really almost didn't, the coaches almost didn't get back for this. In fact, one of my coaches is still stuck. So I just was happy to be here. <laughs> I just wanted to be here with this team because they've given us so much joy this year. I wanted to share this with them. You were flying in from somewhere today? Yeah, we had to, we had to get – our flight, flight got canceled, and we had to fly to Fort Myers, and then I, some car service just drove So you drove very from Fort fast. Myers to here to get back? From Newark to Fort Myers and Fort Myers to here, and then ran into practice and the, tried to get their attention, which I didn't even have my own attention, and then the show. So it was a crazy day. What do you know about USF and your program? Uh, you know, we usually scrimmage them. And yeah. it's funny, last year we didn't because of COVID. This year we just didn't um, because they didn't do informal scrimmages again. So, But we're pretty familiar with them. And they were in the Bahamas when we were in there as well. So um, love their program, love their coach, love their staff. They do a great job. They're tough as nails. So, um, But it'll be, I think both teams will be like, okay, like we know this opponent. So that'll help. The, the fact that you're in South Carolina, in years past, they've right. sent you to the four right. corners right. of the universe. Right. Um, how does it feel to be, you know, pretty close? I mean, just yeah, that's at the number one, number one. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I was just saying, I was thinking like we're gonna be at a number one, and if Louisville's a number one, we just played the other two number ones. I mean, so think about what our march is, is looking like. Like so, so it, we have to feel a little bit like okay, like. We know South Florida, you know, and then whoever wins that game, South Florida's played one seeds this year. We've played one seeds this year, so it's a tough bracket. It's a, it, there will be, it's the toughness bracket. There's a lot of grit in this bracket. The, the run that you guys made in the ACC tournament, what yeah. does that do for your team going into this tournament? You know, that's what I'm saying. I think we realize, okay, we had Duke and then Notre Dame and Louisville and, and NC State, but we don't think of it in the terms of now you see the brackets up there and you're like, whoa, like Louisville and NC State are number one seeds. Mm -hmm. So we, 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 that we're at the site of someone, I said, well, you know, it's going to feel just like the ACC tournament final because you're, in order to get to the Final Four in women's basketball, unless you're a host, you're playing on someone's home court. And you're playing a really, really great team. And we just, we just experienced that in Greensboro. You touched on it a little bit whenever the bracket was announced. Right. But just how much these girls have meant right. to you. And even just saying they're, it, you get so excited. Oh, they're, what is it about these girls that make them special? Well, first of all, I've had absolutely no issues, like not one off court, anything. They have just been wonderful, wonderful young ladies, great GPAs. Um, but they just, you know, they, they really are very honest. We're very honest and we're very vulnerable with each other. So we've got knocked down a couple times and you tell them the truth and, and it, it, it doesn't destroy them. You know, it's like, hey, that's not good enough. And we're just very direct. And so they're a great group to be around because, you know, we played 10 games in 23 days. I mean, you better love them because that was hard. That was hard. We were really spending a lot of time together. <laughs> Do you think the run you guys made also made the rest of the country aware of you guys? Yes, more? yes, absolutely it did. I mean, you know, it, it, even in recruiting, I mean, it's it's been it because the, the way we play, I mean, not just that, okay, Miami made it to the championship. It's like you had to fall in love with our team when you watched us play. You had to fall in love with how we play and how much we love each other, and I think people are really seeing that. How about Destiny? I mean, this strong push she's made here at the end. You know, right. What can that translate to? Well, it was in the ACC tournament. Everyone talks about the Louisville game, but I'm telling you, the fourth quarter of the Duke game, I was screaming at my bench. Anyone who would answer, what's Destiny's matchup? Who's guarding Destiny? We rode Destiny to that Duke win, which was all the pressure. So I think Des can really answer the bell. And, and you, you know, Kelsey's been carrying such a heavy load this year. It's nice to have other players that you know. Like, Destiny knew the plays were coming to her. She knew them, and she wanted them, and she came through. That's a huge thing in March. Yeah. Uh, she talks, though, about y'all's relationship. You've been watching her since she was <laughs> yeah. little. Yeah. And one of the things she said was, because I asked her about that moment y'all had at the ACC right. tournament, she said, I want to keep making those memories and those moments yeah. with Coach. I mean, when yeah. you hear that, wow. how does it make you feel? It's real. I mean, it's real love. Uh, th this, I'm telling you, Destiny Harden with her big eyes, and then they get even bigger, you know, and you're just like, oh, my God, I love that kid so much. I love her family. Um, you know, when we did the home visit with her, it felt, fam I'm from Chicago, she's from Chicago, it felt like family from the minute I met him. So she's a great girl. You've got a lot of players on this roster that haven't been in March. 
March Madness. You've been yeah. there a couple of times. What are you telling yeah. them before to make sure that they keep their heads and don't get lost? Yeah. Well, it's funny. I leaned over and I grabbed Carla and Lola. So these are two young ladies that were doing well at the schools they were at. But I said, you, you came here for this, right? And, and like, and I was like, yeah. And I said, you willed us to this. Like, those two players are really, you, you got to give them a lot of credit for how calm they've been, how they've pushed us through. They didn't give up. They, they actually live in the same apartment. And they really are, like, we talk about all these other people, but don't forget Carla and Lola and their reason and how much this meant to them to make this NCAA tournament. You mentioned back in January, you out-rebounded NC State and lost by 12. You said, this team is good, they just have to realize it. What did it take right. for this team to realize how good they were so they were able to go on that run at the end of the season? Well, that little, that little round thing had to go in the bigger round thing, <laughs> and it wasn't doing it at the beginning of the season. It wasn't going in, and we were going, great shot. And in a certain part, you know, you start questioning, like, was that a great shot? They're the same shots. They just started going in. And our defense has held all year, but we've, We've got a little bit more confidence and, and a little bit more continuity in our offense, and that's just all it takes sometimes. You said that you noticed some recruiting already. Yeah. What, what, what are some of these parents and kids saying to you? They were watching you. Guys. Yeah, like they're, 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 when you walk in the home, like it's, you don't have to say, have you seen us play? Uh, do you know our style? They're like, Coach, we saw that. Unbelievable. And the way your kids ran off the court, like they had a great energy. And, that's all I've ever wanted for this program is just like to be a household name that people have, they see the passion, they see the love, they see the joy, and they see our culture. And you can see that with this team. All right, Coach, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all for coming.